Being able to select objects and isolate objects is very important. There are a number of ways to select objects. You can use the Home tab and pick the Select tool. So just use the arrow. And you can pick any object you want in the model. And then it will highlight that object. You can right click over an object. And then you've got a menu, you just pick the top of the menu to select that duct. So you can select an object that way. You can use a window selection to select objects. So you can select a group of objects. So if you click and then drag and click release the button, it will select all the objects in the window. You can use the same command, and if you use the shift button, hold down the shift key you press, it will select all the objects crossing the window. The select tool is also on the navigation bar. So you can use your pointer. And then you can select multiple objects using the control button. So hold down control and then pick whatever objects you want. In this case, picking a bunch of columns. So the control key will select multiple objects. And a very important part of Navisworks is the selection tree. This is the directory for the whole model. As you select objects in the model, they will highlight on the selection tree. So here you can see I've selected a column. It's a structural column type. It's at the basement level and it's in the file CNS. So I can get quite a lot of information from the selection tree. In this case, I can pick a wall. I can see it's an architectural 230 mil thick wall. I can see it's a category, and I can see which file it's in. You can also use the selection tree to select multiple objects of the same type or same name. So by using the selection tree and clicking on the tree, it will select objects in that tree. So here I'm picking all of the fans. So if I pick axial fans, so it highlights all the fans in the model. Now you can also use the quick properties feature. The quick properties feature is a basically a little display that tells you what the name and type of an object is. If you hold your mouse over it, here it's off, turn it back on, and then I hover over the object and it gives me information about the object. So here I'm checking a pipe. Okay, so you don't have to click it, you can just float over it. It's very useful to be able to change the color of objects and the transparency. So you right click over an object and you can change its color. So we'll make this column orange, and then escape to release it. You can also use the selection tree. So if I want to change all the columns in a part of the model, I use my selection tree, and I pick all the structural columns. I right click, and I override the color. So we'll make them all blue, which turns all the columns blue. Now you can undo this by using the Control Z, or undo command. So it will return them to the previous color. Let's change all the doors to a brown timber color. So we use a selection tree, override the color, pick the color we want, and all doors turn brown. Sometimes you want to make the doors or the windows transparent, so we can override the transparency. A little slider bar pops up, and we set it to about 30%. When we release the object, you can see through the doors, so you can see what's in a room. Another way to see through things is to hide objects. So you can hide either a group of objects, so in this case we've hidden all the doors, and the name doors will go grey, indicating it's hidden in the view. You can then use the unhide, unhide all command. So if we select this particular door, and we hide this door only using the hide button, then only that door goes grey in the selection tree. All the other doors remain in the model. Now this hide command is useful for reviewing different parts of a model. So we can use the selection tree to pick either one file or one group of objects, and then we can turn on another group. So in this case, we're going to compare the chilled water and the ACMV, and we just want to review the model and see what's happening in that discipline. We can zoom into an area, and we can quite clearly see what's in those two files, and we're not obstructed by walls in the model or slabs or anything else.